Well, small Indiana communities often struggle to turn over leadership to new generations. Clayton Baumgarth visited one of these communities to learn more about a program helping to change that narrative. Whitney Timberlake is in his office overlooking the Ohio River in Leavenworth, Indiana. He is a second generation member of the 4-H program. My kids are all in it. My wife and I were both in 4-H. We both had parents that were in 4-H, so, so yeah, our, our kids are third generation to a couple sides. Timberlake graduated high school and started courses remotely from the University of Wyoming. In 2000, he started managing his surveying business in Leavenworth and eventually joined the town council in 2010. A problem that often plagues rural communities is a lack of local talent as well as a shortage of young leadership to take over from older generations. For Timberlake, being in 4-H gave him a sense of pride in his hometown. You definitely get that community feeling. You do learn leadership skills. And all of it is building on your character, making you a better person. And I think part of that is, is wanting to improve your community. 4-H is a national program that works with nearly 6 million students nationwide. Its goal is to nurture kids and teens to take on critical societal issues such as community health inequities, civil discourse, and equity and inclusion. In rural areas specifically, 4-H works with townships and small communities to prepare the next generation of leadership. For example, in Crawford County, officials worry about the moving away of young talent. We send a lot of kids every year to college that graduate high school, they go to college, if they graduate from college, it's just unfortunately a lot of them don't come back here. This can lead to stagnant county government as well as gaps in critical providers such as health professionals and educators. Through this program, as well as other initiatives by the Economic Development Partnership, Crawford County is starting to see a new generation of leaders step up. And I think that's going to continue that direction because we've had some teachers at the schools retire. We've had some people in some major positions within the county retire. And so we have had some younger people take over. Indiana's 4-H program is managed through Purdue and has an extension office in every county of the state. The director of the Crawford County Extension says her focus is on finding students who will blossom. When I'm working with young teens or our 4-H youth members, I am looking at that youth member like, someday you're going to be a county council member or a commissioner, or you're gonna be the director of economic development. Some of the key skills she stresses to students involve networking with their peers and the commonly dreaded practice of public speaking. If you wanna see kids run away from me, it's when I say, oh, I really want you to participate in verbal communications and you know public speaking. But I tell you, they try it out. They're nervous, of course, who wouldn't be? But over time, we see them improve. Whitney Timberlake's daughter, Amelia, knows all too well the perils of trying a new skill in front of a live audience. Whenever I first took my public speaking thing, I literally cried through my whole speech. <laughs> it was pretty bad. But thanks to the gentle nudging of her mentors, Amelia impressed at least one of the judges. I was one of the judges for that speech competition, and yes, she cried, but while she was crying, she gave a better public speech than I could have, and certainly a better speech than I would have when I was 12, 13 years old. In Whitney Timberlake's opinion, professionals who come back to their hometowns after their educations had the potential to enact the most change. But there's a lot to be said just knowing the area. I mean, anybody can come in and, and, and we welcome people to come in. But there's, there is something to be said to, you know, this is home, this is where you grew up and, and having that sense of pride. For Indiana News Desk, I'm Clayton Baumgarth. The 4-H program celebrated 120 years of service last year. They hope to continue for at least 120 more.